Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Roy Moore's wife Kayla exposes the truth about her husband, liberals won't like it. Roy Moore's wife spoke out in defense of her husband at an event called Women for More. Kayla Moore called out the Washington Post for their suspicious reporting. The Washington Post has called everybody that I have ever known for the last 30 years. They have called everybody my husband has ever known for the last 40 years. They print whatever anyone says without checking to even see if it is correct, she explained. They have staked out Tetoa County basically camped out to end of this election. So, to the people of Alabama, thank you for being smarter than they think you are. They will call you names. They will say all matter of evil against you. I would say consider the source, she said. I have been married to my husband Judge Roy Moore for over 32 years. He was a graduate of West Point. He served our country in Vietnam, and he has always been an officer and a gentleman. He is a loving father and a grandfather. Most important, he is a Christian, she said. So, let me set the record straight, even after all the attacks against me, against my family, against the foundation, and now against my husband, he will not step down. He will not stop fighting for the people of Alabama. In his words, and I quote, I will not stop until they lay me in that box in the ground, she said. Do you believe her? Meghan McCain rips Joy Behar for calling Fox News sexual harassment central. The hosts of left-wing daytime political talk show The View are well known to make the most outrageous, baseless accusations about the right. Before, the show's token conservatives like Jedediah Bila were not personally strong enough to stand up to these liberals and fight back. Thankfully, the show's new conservative Meghan McCain is far more tenacious than her predecessors and has been giving back as good as she has been getting. Meghan recently hit back at co-host Joy Behar when the Democrat tried to paint Fox News as sexual harassment central. In a discussion about the Al Franken groping scandal, McCain stated, There's a lot Democrats calling for him to step down. If you can believe it, I don't just watch Fox. Beher decided to try to be funny and said nastily, Fox is sexual harassment central, hello. Megan fired back, you know what, that's so cheap. I'm trying to talk about the fact that I'm watching other networks and people in your party are calling for the stepping down of Al Franken because of this investigation. Conceded Joy, noted. McCain later added, I just don't think that saying, Fox is X, like, I know I used to work there. We're talking about the present, this is what's exhausting about this conversation is that I totally agree with you that I think it's absolutely disgusting at this point that we're still having conversations about Troy Moore, we've talked about it on this show. But right now we're talking about another senator. Responded Beher, we're also talking about hypocrisy, which is what provoked my outburst. Shot back McCain, about Fox. Responded Joy, that's what we're talking about. Trump's hypocrisy, Fox's hypocrisy, Breitbart, Sean what's his face Hannity. Meghan got the final word, asking, what about the hypocrisy of Bill Clinton right now? How much do you love Meghan for this? I'd kick his head in, kill me just crush Troy Moore for hitting on teens. Do you agree with him? Former Alabama Supreme Court Chief Justice Roy Moore was a controversial figure even before he declared his candidacy for Jeff Sessions' former Senate seat in Alabama. However, he has proved to be intensely polarizing even among conservatives after allegations came out that he sexually assaulted teenage girls when he was in his 30s. Many have defended Moore against what they see as obvious smears from the left and from Mitch McConnell-backed establishment Republicans who are not comfortable with Moore's brand of Christian conservatism. Others, including Fox News' Brian Kilmeade, have clearly lost their patience with him. 
Fox and Friends host Kilmit recently made his feelings on the matter very clear during a conversation he was having on his radio show with Senator James Lankford of Oklahoma. Talking about a claim that Moore once got a teenage girl pulled out of her math class so he could speak with her, Brian called this act obscene. He went on, You cannot be calling people's mothers when you are 30 years old to date a teenager. Senator Lankford agreed, saying, As the dad of a teenage daughter, I was absolutely astounded by the first accusation and then it just comes up over and over and over again. What I hope will live with every vote that I take is that I have to be able to explain to my children and that's one I can't explain to my children. Brian responded, You can't. It's not he said, she said, she's in high school and she got a call in her trigonometry class to go to the general office at which time 30-year-old Roy Moore was the other line asking her out for a date. He added, that is obscene and I would kick his head and if it was the one of my daughters and then I would call the cops. Do you agree with Brian, or is he off base? Kiss frontman Gene Simmons just got banned for life from Fox News for what he did. Legendary rock star Gene Simmons, who is the frontman for Kiss, is a proud conservative who has fully admitted how much remorse he feels for having been suckered into voting for Democrat Barack Obama. This charismatic Republican celebrity is the type of person who would be popular on Fox News, but unfortunately after a recent visit to Fox News headquarters he ended up getting banned for life from the network. Simmons appeared on Fox and Friends to promote his new book on power. But it clearly seemed like the rocker didn't know how to behave in public when not on stage and in makeup. In the middle of his appearance, he leapt off the couch and did an impromptu weather report with a stun Janice Dean. It got far worse from there, as Gene ended up making a surprise entry into a closed Fox News staff meeting, pulled his shirt open and showed everybody his chest while shouting, Hey chicks, sue me. He reportedly also hit network employees in the head with his book touched numerous workers improperly and asked an African-American staff member if he was Al Roker. Thankfully, accomplished investor Simmons struck a more level-headed tone during a Fox Business interview with Maria Bartiromo. Commented Simmons on accused sexual assaulter Harvey Weinstein, OK, I'm a powerful and attractive man, and what I'm about to say it deadly serious, men are jackasses. From the time we're young, we have testosterone. I'm not validating it or defending it. He went on, guys need to be trained from their very, very young ages from their mothers and their loved ones that half the world's population are female, and they need to be treated with respect. Do you think Simmons deserved to get banned, or is Fox overreacting? Sarah Palin reveals how she stopped men from ever sexually harassing her, it's brilliant. Former Alaska governor and vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin is nicknamed Grizzly Mama and Sarah Barracuda, both of which speak to her toughness. Sarah Palin is not the type of person that anyone should try to mess with. However, beyond her obvious personal strength, Palin revealed another reason why, despite being very good-looking, she is not sexually harassed by men. In an interview, an NBC reporter asked Sarah, have you ever experienced sexual harassment in the workplace as an ambitious woman in public life? The politician and conservative activist replied, you know, I think a whole lot of people know that I'm probably packing dash so, I don't think there's a whole lot of people who would necessarily mess with me. Palin's blunt and helpful response clearly struck a chord with viewers. Wrote one conservative Twitter user smartly as a reaction. I'm starting to see why so many big Hollywood actors, directors, and producers are against allowing women to carry concealed guns for self-defense. If you're gonna commit a crime, make sure your victim is unarmed. It's sickening, but makes sense. Strong female Palin is clearly proud of women who have finally found the courage to speak up about having been sexually harassed and abused. However, she explained that it is a double-edged sword, explaining, in some respects, it's great that finally people are talking about this issue because it's gotta stop. If we truly are one standing up for equality in the workplace, 
the only way that we are going to really see manifested equality is for that practice to stop. She added, though floodgates are really open right now that could lead to a lot of false accusations that really harm an innocent person. Do you think Palin is right that more women should concealed carry? Nasty lib with FCK Trump and FCKU for voting for him sticker on her truck just got brutal payback. Liberals love to say how open-minded they are, and how much they love diversity. In practice, however, they are completely intolerant of any point of view other than their own narrow one. In one of the nastiest displays of hatred towards our sitting president yet, a 46-year-old woman named Karen Fonseca from Fort Bend County, Texas decided that it would be a good idea to try to shame people who voted Republican in the 2016 election by putting a stick on the back of her truck that read fuck Trump and fuck you for voting with him, together with a middle finger. In what seems like karmic payback or else just proof of what a delinquent she is, soon after putting the offending sticker on her truck she was arrested by the local sheriff because they had an outstanding fraud warrant against her. Instead of thinking how stupid she was for attracting attention to herself with the sticker, this woman naturally claimed that she is being persecuted by the justice system for her beliefs. Said Karen after she was bailed out by her husband, I'm almost certain it does have to do with, the truck decal. People abuse the badge, and in my opinion, money talks. When you're in politics, people know how to work the system. Before it was revealed that the truck's driver had this fraud warrant, Sheriff Troynells had reached out to her for her profane sticker with a Facebook post that read, We have not threatened anybody with arrest. We have not written any citations. But I think now it would be a good time to have meaningful dialogue with that person and express the concerns out there regarding the language on the truck. Do you think this idiot will think twice next time before giving American voters the finger?